Hello everyone, time for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Archetype video, this time on the Cyber Dark support, along with the new ban list for the TCG. So let's begin. So let's start off with the ban list. For the Forbidden cards, Union Carrier. No, I use this card, why? Utopic Sexel. This one I understand, but I really like this card as well. True King of All Calamities. Eh, why not? For Limited, Cyber Angel Benton. Honestly, I don't know why they hit this card. Cyber Angels are not really doing that well. Nothing got semi-limited, and to the no longer enlist, Dragon Buster of Destruction Sword. I still wish Konami would stop hitting those archetype related cards only for the archetype. Firewall Dragon. Now this one doesn't take place until April, when Ghost of the Past gets released because Firewall Dragon's getting errata, and the new reprint is the errata Firewall Dragon. But I'm definitely excited to use them. The Phantom Knights of Rusty Benji. Yay. Duloron Tiger King of the Ice Barrier. Took forever. Ignister Prominence, the Blasting Draco Slayer. Pretty good. Rank Up Magic Argent Chaos Force. Yay. Drew King's Return. Never could figure out why this one got hit. And now before I go to the main archetype of the video, I want to give my thoughts of some archetypes that were revealed for the last few days because I missed them. Magic Key Sky Blasters are kind of interesting in my opinion. Focusing around a normal monster, which I kind of like, but also having Ritual and Fusion Tuners. Now my only issue is that there is no Synchros for this archetype revealed yet, which I always find that odd. As for Gizmic, I do like the idea of having the playstyle of both attack and defense being the same. And then for the Sioux Ship archetype, it only focuses on Rice and Roll to exceed summon a specific card that doesn't do much. But honestly, I don't really care about any of these three archetypes. At most, Maggie Key. And now to the stuff I actually care about, the Cyber Dark stuff. With our first card being Cyber Dark Chimera. Level 4 Dark Machine, 800 attack, 2100 defense, and its effect is, you can discard one spell or trap, add one power bond from your deck to your hand. But you cannot use monsters as fusion materials for the rest of the turn except for dragons or machine cyber monsters. And once if you fusion summon this turn, you can also use monsters from your graveyard as fusion material by banishing them. Wow, that's pretty good. Let's you add your main fusion card and also and also lets your fusion card as a miracle fusion. This effect itself makes it three of. But it also has a second effect. If this card sent to the graveyard, you can send one cyber dark monster with a different name from the one sent to the graveyard. And each effect is hard once per turn. Honestly, I only would use this for the first effect. And now to our new big boss monster, which is basically Cyber Dark Dragon equipping Cyber End Dragon, Cyber Dark End Dragon. Level 12, Dark Machine, 5000 attack, 3800 defense, requires one Cyber Dark Dragon and one Cyber End Dragon. Like I said, Cyber Dark Dragon equipping Cyber End Dragon. This card must be either fusion summoned or be special summoned by tributing one level 10 or lower Cyber Dark Fusion monster equipped with Cyber End Dragon. So basically, you can also use Cyber Darkness Dragon as well, since Cyber Darkness can equip a machine type from your graveyard as well. So that's good. And its effect is, unaffected by any activated effects by your opponent. Nice. Second effect, once per turn, you can equip one monster from either graveyard to this card. In which its third effect is, this card's maximum number of tags per battle phase equals the number of cards equipped to it. Honestly, this is pretty slow because you can only equip one a turn, but you do have the support cards that will probably equip more, so you should be able to do some multi-attack with 5,000 attack each. Now my only gripe about this card is that it doesn't have the massive power gain that Cyber Dark Dragon is really known for. And finally, to our normal spell, Cybernetic Horizon. This card is always treated as a Cyber Dark card. You can only activate one of these per turn, and you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck during the turn you activate this card except for machines. And Zephyrtis send two dragon and or machine cyber monsters with different attributes to the graveyard, one from your hand and one from your deck, and add one dragon or machine cyber monster from your deck to your hand, and if you do, send one cyber machine monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Instant 3 up for being a consistency searcher. Lets you fill up your graveyard, especially Foolish Burial a card from your deck, and of course lets you search for a card. And not only that, it lets you send a card from your extra deck to the graveyard, aka you want Cyber End Dragon. And there's also other potentials that this card can have because of that too. Because there are fusion monsters that require a specific card from your extra deck to summon. So yeah, nice 3F. 
So that's it for these reveals. What do you guys think about the new ban list and the Cyber Dark cards? Honestly, the ban list kind of hurt me a little bit. I was using some of these cards and some of my favorite cards got hit. Although I am glad to see Firewall Dragon back, even if it's errata. As for Cyber Darks, I'm just glad to see more support for under-supported archetypes. And this is something the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 Arrows is bringing for us. But other than that, have a nice day.